Rise from your grave. Hello Quakers and welcome to another edition of the Quake Grave. Today we have a brand new release that just came out a few days ago on October 10th. This is called End of Solace. Now this is by Dump Truck DS and he actually includes a few cool factoids here. He actually started this map originally in 2015 and only just now got around to finishing it. And that is because he partook in creating maps for Retro Jam 6, Map Jam 9, and the Speed Map Pack 179, all of which have been featured on the Quake Grave uh, over the past year or so. So definitely go check those videos out if you haven't seen his maps yet, or just go play his maps. Um, but this is also supposed to be based on E1M3, one of the, I, I think, uh, cooler maps, in my opinion, in the original Quake here. So let's jump into End of Solace. Well, here we are in End of Solace. We have uh, 93 enemies to take out and 11 secrets to find, so a good amount of secrets crammed into this map. Is this blood or lava? What am I looking at here? Okay, it didn't hurt, so it must be blood. Can we go in here? Oh, just barely, barely can't fit. Clip in my head there. Can't make it. Lots of broken out little areas here. It's giving me um, some feelings from that old movie, The Gate, if you remember that. <laughs> Looking down the hole and just seeing the red down the way. Wow. This is big. This is really cool, too. It feels like old-fashioned Quake. I think the wood paneling really helps with that. I love the wooden beams up there. Love the uh, wooden planks on the walls and everything. Really helps with the look and the feel of it. Oh, we got some enemies. And he's down. No big whoop. Some kind of teleporter or something there. There's another grunt. There we go. Took him out. Alright, I'm gonna see... Nope, nothing in the water there. Looking for secrets. I know I can walk in this water. I know it's safe. Looking to see if there's any... How about one of these jump secrets where you jump under the... The torch and it moves. Interesting. Interesting room, by the way. The big, big symmetrical room with the big thing in the middle here. Is this going to go away or is there going to be a elevator in the middle of it or something? That's what I'm anticipating. Okay, we need the silver key for that. We can see the silver key there. Great communication to the player to show them what we got to do. But unfortunately, I don't think we can go through here yet. This will open somewhere else. Uh, there we go. Shooty switch. Oh, we got some scrags. Oh, and we're locked in. Locked in until we hit that again. Alright, we got some health hanging out in the water. Those are rotten, so I can grab one. Who else we got in here? Some more grunts! You know, it's interesting that this map is subbing grunts uh, in here for what I figured would be knights. I figured there would be knights all over the place in here, but there isn't. Love the uh, cracks taken out of the, the places there. Got another window right here. You can see through. I don't see any really obvious secrets anywhere. But they're never obvious to me, I guess. I'm just going to have to remember that there's health all over the place in here. Pillar? The emerald doors have opened, so we cannot go this way yet. Crimson Gate is still locked. So we got to shoot that to bring that back down. interesting toggle door here. I, I love this whole idea with the, you know, uh, casing in the middle taking out so that way you can see what you have to shoot. I like that because if there's going to be shooty buttons further into the map, it's sort of just introducing to you like, hey, expect more of these. There's going to be a trap in here. I can see it. Oh, God. Oh, great. I'm going to hit dead on here. Oh man, okay, here are the knights. This is what I expected originally. I need this health really bad. Let's say nothing has been super difficult just yet, and then here we go. I'm glad I didn't say it. <laughs> oh, we got a scrag peeking his head around. Did you see him peek his head in? Like, hello, are you sleeping? We got some more things going on down there. Oh. 
could swear I heard another scrag or something. Interesting crucifixion scene here, too. This almost looks like a little church area. I don't know. It's really strange. But yeah, trying to see down there. I guess some vine zombie area thing going on down there. I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. All right. We at the uh, 15 enemy mark. We'll hit the pillar. The crimson gate is now open. Okay, but so is this. Shall we drop in? Oh man, did I call the zombie area or what? Oh man, you guys are everywhere. Oh, there's a button. Not sure what it did though. Did it open up a secret? I gotta say, one thing I, I am really digging is the, the little die cuts, you know, the little pieces taken out of the textures here to kind of give you a window into all these other areas in the map. I really dig that. Alright, I suppose we gotta switch to a different weapon here. That way we don't blow ourselves up. Return to the Crimson Gate. Alright, I will. Yeah, see, I really like this window stuff here. This is really, really cool. Oh, man. You see this stupid fiend here? He filled the other area up with fiends. What a jerk. I guess this will work out for me, though. <laughs> I'm gonna cheese it through the window. Oop, we got a grunt. Those grunts, you know, they have very, very pre precise aiming. You don't want to mess with them sometimes, you know? And I don't want to go back through there either because of the trap, so... But luckily we got some health here I can grab. We took out a lot of the enemies, so... Take you out. Okay, so that's what this teleporter here is for that's telling me that those shells are going to respawn, which is good. Alright, I think we deserve another save there. Something opened up over there, too, and that is not the Crimson Gate. We're currently at 27, almost 30 kills. This was not a secret. That must have been where the enemies just came from. So it's quite possible that this area would uh, open up as well. You know, rules of uh, things being symmetrical in Quake often happens. Take out this ogre. Whoa! Right through the bars, huh? And we get a scrag, but we took out the ogre first. No big whoop. We got a nail gun waiting for us in there now, but I'm gonna run back here. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab some rotten health packs here. I think there is one in here as well. Yep. There we go. Alright. Let's head in. Shall we? Well, let's grab the nail gun. More health, nail gun. Flickery light in the window. It's like a haunted house, man. Okay, more flickery light coming from in here. There's a button there with some bars. Alright, we're locked in. This is going to be some kind of trap, I'm assuming. I don't really want to grab the health yet. Oh, hey guys! <laughs> okay, those guys are down. What's next? Oh, you at the very end. Okay, we did that. Bars are now open. Hit the button. There's a button up there as well, okay. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of platforming. Interesting. We did get some rockets. Switch back to our shotgun here. All right, I'm sorry. We actually have to stay up there to make the jump over to the next one because we can't make the jump. All right, that's clever. See, so yeah, I, th I feel like this is this is clever platforming here. It's somewhat easy to get over to. 
Oh my god. There's a four down there already. Alright, I want to take you out first, stupid Scrags. As I keep missing you. There we go. Dude, you gotta go down. Alright. This is a very interesting fight right here, I gotta say. Oh, it's a good thing I grabbed those uh, grenades beforehand, though. He can't really touch me up here. But I'm soon to be able to not touch him here. Got him on the ricochet. Boom! Did you see that? I actually got him <laughs> by bouncing off of the the wall. That's how you do it, man. Let's see, can I get this up? Oh, didn't quite get the... I, I just knocked him down. Oh, I want to try this again. This is trick shotting, you know? Boom! There we go. Wasn't a direct hit, but I did get him. Grab that pack with a few shells in it. This was a very interesting, weird little room. Very, very cool. Uh, it, you know, it looks like it was created intentionally to be uh, tight quarters like this, you know what I mean? And uh, it, I, I think it really plays into the, the whole, uh, you know, the whole thing that unfolds in here. You got knights that come at you in a very, you know, tight area. You got grunts up there shooting at you. And then once you get up there, you got zombies who jump down with a vor. Like, it's pretty cool. Oh, here we go. Here's something. Hey, I found a secret finally. All right, back up, elevator. More scrags. There we go. Okay, nothing open on that side. We'll grab these shells. Whoops. Didn't mean to go that way. All right, we'll do a little save before we open the door here. We're at 43 out of 93. Grab our double barrel. And finally, some nails to go along with it. I'm just going to move along here. Grab some shells there. There is something to jump up to here. I don't know if this is a secret. It is a secret. Look at that. Finding secrets all over the place. You are down. Alright, bring it on, knight. Scrag is down. Knight is soon to be down. There we go. Oh, you're jumping down to come at me, huh? There we go. Now you're down. We do have another way to go here. These bricks don't lead anywhere, though, so it's kind of a trap. Oh, you just blew up your buddy. <laughs> Works for me. Whatever, man. There we go. Now he's down. Okay, we got an ogre jumping down at me, but he can't do anything from up there. Or down there, rather. He's not up, he's down. Alright, that was a really quick quick and dirty fight right there, but just to recap what had happened, um, <laughs> I, I managed to get a secret in uh, the midst of all that. Who would have thought? Definitely not me. We had one secret going in, now we're at two out of the eleven. Oh, there was a grunt over here. Interesting. Just one lone little grunt. If people were going for 100% kills, it'd be funny because they'd be going in there thinking like, uh, where's this last guy at? Love the see-through area here with the red light behind there. That looks really cool. I like that. Oh, this does just open. Okay. I was like, that says you need a gold key. But I wasn't sure if it was actually telling me, hey, this is where the gold key is at. I'm going to run over here. Yeah, we need the gold key to open that door. So I'm going to grab those nails. I'm going to grab these rockets. And we're going to go back where the pillars are opened over here. Alright, one more save because we got some ammo. Ah! Okay, I don't like this room. Looks like I have no choice. Look for the kill switch. There we go. Unspiked. Yikes. Never been the biggest fan of traps in, in Quake. I know they're, they're always there, but man. Sometimes I hate them. This is a very interesting room here. There's got to be something in the water here. Like a secret or something, right? Right? 
We've got nails. And who is storing nails in the weird blood water? That's what I want to know. Oh, there is a way to go over here. What do we got? Okay, there is a way to go down. Hey, ring shadows. Not sure how superly helpful that's going to be right here, because I don't see anybody coming after me. But I guess we'll find out in a moment, right? All right, we're going to save here because I am never good at the platforming stuff. There's some health there I do not need yet. Oh, wow. Okay, that's why. Because <laughs> there's a shambler in there. We're going to try to not trigger the shambler. How about that? That's clever. I really like that. We got knights. We got... Or not knights, I'm sorry. Uh, grunts. We got uh, a couple of scrags. One from the front, one from the back. Thought that was... Okay, I was going to say, I thought I saw a grunt running around up there. thought it was just a torch for a moment. But it is the grunt. Another one. We're doing okay here. Where'd that shambler go? He ran somewhere. Got some rockets. We have some health, which we still don't need just yet. Loving all of the little alcoves hidden all over the place here. I think it's really, really cool. Is the shambler down at the bottom? Yeah, there he is. Okay. I was going to say, he jumped down or something. All right. Another grunt there, just chilling. So they're waiting for the opportune time to trigger, which is very clever placement because you don't see them at first, and once you run by them, then they trigger. Very clever. We're at 60 out of 30, or, uh, I'm sorry, 60 out of 93. I was going to say we have about 30 to go. We hit the pillar to the gold key. Where'd the knight come from? Oh, there you are. I'm going to take you out with the nails, dude. There we go. And I think we be leaving. We be leaving the Shambler, man. Unless this is going to teleport us right down to him. Nope. Not down to him. Oh, okay. I was about to say, I thought it said we could get the gold key now. The knight looks like he was just like kind of pushed out, like, go get him. <laughs> like, he didn't really want to go get me. But he was like, okay, fine. They just tossed him out like he got pushed into a pool or something. Alright, the real question here is what way to go? I'm thinking we might have to jump down and risk the the Shambler here. I don't want to fight the Shambler and waste ammo because I don't have a lot of nails and stuff as it is. But I don't know if I have a choice here. Because as soon as I fall down here, he's going to be coming after me. So what can we do? I guess we'll just take him out. Oh, jerk. Jerk. Okay, we took him out. Belly ache and all. Let's grab that. I don't know that we'll be back here, so down we go. Oh, we're going to have to toggle that off again. As I wait for enemies to repop, I don't see anything happening, so I guess we're good. Okay. Fiend down the hall. It's a very shining esque introduction. You need two fiends. Come and play with us, Danny. And they just run at you and try to <laughs> maul you. Okay, we triggered somebody here. All right, here's that center pillar in the middle. It's de there's definitely something going on up there with spikes and a teleporter. I'm assuming that's where the exit is going to be. We definitely triggered an ogre somewhere. I heard him yell. There we go. There's grunt. Whoa, a whole bunch of grunts. Let's grab these packs. You're done. Ooh, we get a rocket launcher. The real question is, how do I get to that? That's what I want. These green windows are pretty cool, too. I I, I mean, these aren't really windows. These uh, green green stone faces here that are all over the place. I know they're up on the, the area where we were uh, 
you know, jumping up to that one platform, and I, I thought they looked really cool there. Failed to mention, but I think this looks really cool. I like it. All right, where are we supposed to go from here? Is there a button I need to shoot? Let me head back out to this area, I guess. Okay, we do have some ogres up there. I guess I can try to take pot shots at them and take them out. Are they fighting each other yet? I feel like they were, and I interrupted them. Okay, one down. Those guys are really far away. They're not going to get at me at all. Okay, this would almost suggest that there's a way to climb up there, but it doesn't look like it's the case. Alright, let's save there. We're at 72 out of 93. Less than 20 kills away from finishing this. I must say, this is the one room that I've run into in this so far, because the rest of the the rest of the map feels like, you know, it's kind of like what id would have, what id did, you know, as they say. It looks like a, a map that they would have had in the original Quake. This room is the first room for an into that sort of looks like, you know, one of the 97 era maps where somebody just took a room and made it gigantic and put, put a bunch of stuff into it, you know what I mean? Um, really, really, really big box rooms like this are very reminiscent of uh, that era. Um, not that I am trash-talking the map or anything. Uh, I tend to like older maps, <laughs> personally. So seeing a big room like this makes me nostalgic for playing old maps. Um, but the real question here is where the hell do I go? I see the face. These are not opening. Nothing's opening. Aha. I found a secret area. Okay, I knew that this guy was going to open in some way. Oh, crap. Ooh, crap. You guys did see that, right? Thanks for the secret area, dumb truck. <laughs> you found a secret area. Go enjoy your rocket launcher. By the way, you gotta fight for it. I believe we were talking about this in a recent video, though. We were talking about how if you want to get rewarded with... Oh! That was my own... Oh, crap. This thing is gonna hit me. Yeah, I got no choice there. But I'm an idiot. I could have fought them through the windows here, too, but I completely forgot about it. That's okay. We got some health. We're good. Wow. You really wanted me to fight for that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and hit save there. Is there anything in here, or is that just where the vores were? Okay. Yeah, 76 out of 93. So at this point, where do we go? But yeah, I, I think I was talking about that exact same thing in a recent video, which was that... Um, you know, when you introduce and show a weapon, uh, when you go pick it up, you know, the, the very old school Quake uh, derivative is that you uh, uh, got to fight for it, right? You see a rocket launcher, it's like, okay, you got to earn this rocket launcher, right? Boom. I got 36 rockets. I'm using them, man. One more to go. Where could the other one be? Where could it be? Love the uh, teleporter exit. I think that, that star must have been used or copied from uh, the recent jam that uh, we took, uh, that, that we played through the uh, Contract Revoked jam. Looks like the Stargate that was in uh, one of the maps, which is pretty cool. Okay, we're going to avoid that for now. Oh, boy. Okay, hey, dude. Wasn't expecting you around the corner. Not just yet, anyway. Oh, jeez, he keeps clipping me. Rotten health. I was going to say, I thought there was some health over here I didn't grab. Okay, we're still good on health. Stupid shambler around the corner. Some nails. And I'm assuming at some place there was probably a super nail gun for me to grab, too. Alright. One more save before the end here. I think we're getting close. Who saw me? Somebody did. Somebody yelled. Chamber doors are locked. There's a quad back there. Anyone know how to get this quad? Anyone? I would like it. Chances are I'm going to open that door and there's going to be a... 
crazy amount of enemies to probably take out. There's a pillar. Um, I see a drop down over here. Let's do this. But where does this take me? Oh, let's find out. What? What is this? Uh, hello? <laughs> Why can't I go through the teleporter? I have to go through the back? Wow, that's weird. Shortcut. Shortcut to what? <laughs> I can't get in. Huh? Wow, okay. I don't I don't know what's going on here, but that's pretty silly. Guess we'll drop down and head back to where we were. Back in and back up. Okay, let's go hit the final pillar, do our thing. Yeah, we got about 13 enemies to take out, so this room, I think, is going to be pretty crazy. Chamber doors are unlocked. Aha! There was something. There's a quad. I'm glad I figured that out before going in. Let's do this. gonna mow all you guys down. I heard a vor somewhere. Where are you? You're down. Take out all the hard ones. That brings us to 87. There's still gonna be like a shambler or something around, right? That opened. Okay. Pretty interesting area. Another secret. Boom. I'm finding a bunch of secrets at the end here. Six out of eleven. I got over 50% of the secrets, man. Okay, up we go. This is going to be a Shambler fight, I'm assuming. I should have probably went a little quicker, but hey. If I had still had that quad, things would be different. You guys would be done already. But I got a super nail gun. Well, not for long. But I did. I did have one. <laughs> Alright, we got one more Shambler to take out. There's still, believe it or not, two more enemies after the two Shamblas. Come on back out, jerk. Come on. Oh, jerk. I missed him and he hit me. Oop. Come on. Very long fight. And I hear something moving, but I'm not sure what. What was that? That sounded like, oh, is this here? Okay. It's like, that sounded like it took forever for it to open, whatever it was. Your path awaits. There were still two enemies out, though. Alright, so we found the shortcut. I'm assuming we can just jump over to this, right? Let's give it a shot. And there we go! That is the end! That was a really, really cool map, Dump Truck. I really enjoyed that one. It definitely feels old school. It definitely feels like, you know, it's supposed to be in the vein of uh, E1M3, was it? It definitely has that feel. I don't know how much it's like that map in particular, but this feels like a map that would have fit right in with the, uh, you know, I would say like episode one to episode three, somewhere in that mix there. Um, so yeah, I, I really, really liked it. I thought that there was a lot of great communication with the player. I thought that the uh, shooty buttons showing off uh, secrets and that kind of stuff was really good. The way that was introduced in the beginning was very clever. Um, and there was just a lot to like in this one. You know, a lot of times we get throwback maps from uh, authors, and, uh, you know, they're good, but they don't quite exactly capture the idea of a throwback map, you know what I mean? Um, this map feels like a throwback map that would have included things that, you know, it would have included, you know, if that makes sense. It, it feels like stuff that they would have done uh, as an ev evolution, I suppose. Um, 
you know, sometimes you play a throwback map and there's stuff in it that totally modernizes it, which kind of takes you out of the whole nostalgic trip. Not that that's a bad thing, but to truly call it a throwback map, it's, it's tough. But this one definitely has that feel to it, so uh, I think you definitely accomplished what you set out to do here, Dump Truck. Very great map, had a lot of fun with it. But there you go, everybody. That is the Quake Grave for this week, and I'll see you next time. Be sure to check out all of my other Quake Grave episodes or jump into the GGRC show that I've been doing. I think you'll like it.